Hello chess family, it's me, National Master Jesse James, and well, today we're going to be going over back rank checkmates, and this time, we're going from 400 to 800. Let's see how we do. We'll go ahead and try for 10 again, just like we did last time. Hope you're enjoying the series. Let's go for it. Remember, back rank checkmates can only be done on the back rank, so either the first rank or on the eighth rank, and it can only be done with a rook or a queen. So, it's black to move. Do you see it already? Remember, checks, captures, and threats. Here we have a checkmate in one. Hopefully this wasn't too hard for you. Here it is. Queen can get to the back rank with queen to e1. Also known as a mighty queen mate, because unlike the rook, the queen will guard the d2 square. So, this one is known as the mighty queen mate, because she's the only one that can get the checkmate like this. If it was a rook check, well, then the king would have been able to escape. All right, on to the next one. Ah, another very easy one here. It's black to move. Remember, checks, captures, and threats. Here, we can see that the rooks and the queen are all targeting at this one square. Hopefully, you see it. Feel free to push pause in between the 10 that we're doing. If not, enjoy the show. Here we go. Here, we're just going to play queen takes on f2 check. Remember, make sure each move is a check here. And here, we've only got one protector here. So, it's going to be very simple. We're just going to go ahead and sacrifice the queen. Queen check, rook takes, and rook takes on f1 for the mate. All right, here we go. Number three. Ah, another very simple one here. This one, you just got to be careful, especially whenever you're looking for your back reins, that, well, you don't move to where your opponent can take you. All right, it's black to move, and we do know it's going to be a queen move, but hopefully you didn't make that mistake and go to queen the d1 check. Wah, wah. Here we see that the bishop is guarding it. So anytime you see a move that may seem a little too good to be true, check it, right? Here it is not take the rook. It's actually queen to b1 check here. Bishop block, rook blocks, and we're going to have a checkmate in one and two. All right, here we go. We're heading down this pretty fast. Ah, a very nice one. Here we see we have one, two attackers for the back rank, but they've got one, two protectors for the back rank. So if we do the queen check here, it's not going to work, right? Remember, whenever you're attacking, always count the pieces. If it's equal to, then it will be lost. Whenever you're attacking, you always need one more. So we have one, two attackers, one, two defenders. This simply will just not work, right? Rook takes, rook takes, and then rook takes at the end. But here the idea is very simple. We see that there's two defenders, and we have two attackers. We just need to get rid of one. Do you see it now? Here it is, remove the defender. So here we play rook takes, rook check. The rook must take back, but now there's only one defender here, and now we're going to go ahead and get that checkmate. Here we go. Queen to e8 check. Rook takes, and now rook takes for the mate. All right. Four down. Ah, the check, 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 mate. This is a very good one that a lot of people will miss. Here we see that we have one, two protectors for the back rank here on F1. Here the rook and queen are two attackers. So two defenders, two attackers. What do you do? Here, just like in the last one, we can get rid of one. But here we're only going to kick it. And here what we're going to kick is the king. Do you see it now? Here, don't go queen F1 check. We're going to kick the king with queen F2 check first. Now there's only one defender for the back rank on F1, and we still have those two attackers. Let's sacrifice the queen again. Queen F1 check, rook takes, and rook takes on F1 for checkmate. All right, halfway done here. Here we go. Ah, the same idea. Here it's white to move, and it's check, check, mate. Did you find it? Here we see that there's one, two defenders for the back rank. Here we got the rook and queen working together. Here we go, queen to F7 check, kicking the king over, and now we can make our way to the back rank, one and two. All right, here we go. Ah, this is a very nice one that does get a bit uh, on the good pattern sign, or at least easy pattern to see, because you would say, well, this doesn't look like a back rank because there's so many pieces on the board. Here we can get the back rank because, well, this weak F7 square. Here the knight and queen are able to do this. You see the first check? Here it's gonna be queen takes on F7 check. Remember, it's always good to leave with the queen. But now, hopefully you see the pattern recognition. Here we see that the king on d8, and because black did not develop their pieces, the back rank is weak here. So here we just play queen to f8 for mate. All right, on to the next one. Here we go. Ah, this one is check, check, and then mate. Black to move. Here we go. Did you find the first move? Here it's going to be queen to e1 check, not queen h1, as the king, uh, as the king will not be able to move anywhere because of knight, but the bishop here can block. So here the idea is going to be to get rid of this bishop. And like I said last time, remember, queens and knights are very good about working together here because they can switch colors pretty easily. So here we have the first check, queen to e1 check, bishop back. And here we see the next check, queen to d2 check, the knight 
is guarding, king must move over, and then queen takes on d1, checkmate. Remember, a good idea in a lot of these back ring checkmates is to push your opponent's pieces back or remove the defender. All right, here we go. Knight to b6 here. Here we have that check, 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 mate pattern. Here we see that the king and the rook are guarding. We have one, two attackers. What do we do in this one? Hopefully, remember, we're going to kick the king back to get access to this c1 square. So what do you play? Queen c2 check. Don't grab the free bishop. Here there's lots of queen checks over here you don't want to get in trouble with. Let's end this game right now. Queen to c1 check, rook takes, and then rook takes for mate. All right, here we go for our last one. Remember, this is 400 to 800. Ah, again, they're really trying to drill in this check, check, mate pattern. All right, black to move. Do you see it? Here it looks like a very complicated game here. Looks like black is actually down the exchange, but here the king and the rook are both guarding the c1 square, and then we have the rook and the queen, but what do we do here? Remember, we just kick the king away. So queen c2 check, king over to a1, queen check, rook takes, rook takes, and we have mate. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this. This one was 400 to 800 tactics rating. We're going to be going over 800 to 1,000 very soon. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next video.